Okay, today I finally got my parcel. The time is now 4.22. The date is the 6th of September 2016. It's late uh, by seven days. I will open it up and check what's inside. Once opened up the first layer, I have this little envelope from Samsung. And I'll just open this up to show you what's inside. Okay, once we open up the envelope, we get this letter here, the delivery note, and also the address for the returns, if you should return your Note 7, and also this card here that says, got there first. This is one of the first Galaxy Note 7 handsets to be shipped. And there it is, Galaxy Note 7. One of the first to be shipped, but probably one of the last to receive. Very disappointing delivery service. Okay, so inside the box we have the Galaxy Gear VR, uh, the phone box itself, and also I believe it's a case. So I think that's the Samsung special gift case or something like that. The Galaxy Gear VR, and finally itself the box of the Note 7 and also Royal Mail return packages for if I really want to return it uh, I don't know why they didn't send Royal Mail to deliver it in the first place since they have a Royal Mail bag here to send it back I believe that Royal Mail will probably do a better job of delivering it to me on time Okay, let's get on with the opening. Okay, yesterday I received this box. Uh, I did an opening yesterday of the box just to check everything because it arrived really late. So yesterday it arrived on Tuesday, the 6th of September 2016 at 4.22 p.m. And uh, it's very late as you can see by the date here. It was sent out 29th of the 8th, 2016. It was supposed to reach me by the 30th. Tuesday the 30th of August 2016 but it arrived Tuesday the 6th of September 2016 a lot of problems with UK mail I tried to message them they never responded I called Samsung and you know a lot of problems Samsung um, emailed me back called me back once and lots of communications issues and uh, yeah that's why it arrived late and not very happy, but I checked it out yesterday. You can see the actual unboxing of it yesterday from this package here. Uh, these parts here are covered uh, because it contains my information. So, thank you. Okay, this is what I received uh, yesterday, the 6th of September. It's six days late. It should have arrived um, on the 30th of August um, by UK mail and um, the first thing you see when you open it is this piece of paper here and this is what you get inside you get the Samsung Gear VR Galaxy Note and a special gift so let's take a look at the card when you open up the card it's actually open on both sides when you pull out the paper this is basically the delivery note and if you need to return the phone inside the box there's also uh, a Royal Mail bag for you to send it back I don't know why they didn't choose Royal Mail because it should have got to me earlier uh, also this it says you got there first this is one of the first Galaxy Note 7 headsets to be shipped your Galaxy Note 7 fav favorite features. I am number 160 out of 1000. So big thanks from Samsung. Unfortunately, I'm probably the last person to receive it because it came very late, six days. Six days. Okay, let's put that to one side. 
Okay, the first thing we will look at is uh, this special gift. Let's open it up. So this is a hard case. And inside there's pockets and also what it should contain inside, how you put your accessories. And I think this side here is for the phone itself. I'm not too sure why you need this side for the phone because the phone is something that you uh, would use all the time. So putting it in here and taking it out is a real hassle unless you're on holiday where you want to keep your phone safe without using it. Okay, let's put that one side. Yesterday when I got it, today is now the 7th, just to test out to see that everything is there. So I have opened it already. So the seal has been opened. So to open it, you pull it out from its sheath, you put it on the side, and the box itself folds open. And inside you'll see the phone. Let's move this aside a bit. So inside, let's take the phone out now. Let's see what we have in the box. So inside the box, uh, let's take out the plastic holder. You'll have an envelope. Uh, presumably it contains the instructions or the manuals to the Note 7 and also the, the pin here to open up the card slot. And inside we have the accessories. So here we have the oops, USB type C charger. The Note 7 now has a USB type C instead of a US, micro USB. We have a little tweezer here. Uh, it is for the S Pen because you have spare nibs here. The spare tips for the S Pen, different colors, the white and black. We have the Samsung Adaptive Fast Charger. The mic, the USB dongle, so you can connect other USB devices here, including flash drives, hard disk drives, and then you have a micro USB to USB Type C adapter. Also here is the headset, the new headset. Uh, it should be white except for contains in a uh, dark case here. It's kind of see-through, you might see it inside. Okay, so that's it for the um, Note 7. Okay, next up I'm going to unbox the Samsung Gear VR. Uh, as you can see, my phone is sitting there on my fast charging pad. It's not plugged in, but it looks nice. So let's open this up. So here is the unboxing of the Gear VR. Okay, so let me put that one side, that knife. It's quite dangerous. So let me open it up now. So let me open up the box and slide it out. So the Samsung Gear VR looks like this. Let me remove the headset. So brand new. Wow. Okay, so what it is is there's two buttons here. There's the back button and the home button. Once you plugged in your phone at the front, uh, you can control it externally here, back and home, and this is actually a touchpad. So it's a touchpad here that controls the functions of your phone and back and home. So there's two lenses there to place into your eyes. Okay, let me put that down. And there's a box inside, Gear VR. Let's take a look what's inside. So inside the box, there's the news or manual. And the straps. 
So these are the straps, it's Velcro, so it'll just stick in. And there's also some parts as well. Now I can see here, here's an adapter. The black one here is an adapter. Let me just open it up for everyone to see. Now the black one here is an adapter. Because the Note 7 is USB Type-C, and this should be backwards compatible with the S7, uh, S7 Edge, S6, S6 Edge. Uh, they've had this adapter made to convert it to make it possible to be compatible with the other devices or the Samsung devices that can be used with this Galaxy VR. And again, this one comes with a micro USB uh, to Type-C adapter. So that's it. Thank you for watching the unpacking of the Galaxy VR. Okay, so these are the protection accessories I bought for the phone. Uh, the first one on my left here is the Spigen Galaxy Note uh, rugged armor case. And the one to the right is the 3D tempered glass. So this is the screen protection for my phone and it should cover the whole glass. Okay, so this is the 3D case, the 3D premium tempered glass screen protection that I bought for the Note 7. Uh, let me just open it up. So inside, uh, this is the 3D glass. It curves on both ends, so it gives you full screen protection. And these are the wipes you can use to clean your phone before applying. So let's put that aside and bring out the glass. Okay, the glass is covered by plastic film, so you only take it off when you're gonna put it onto the phone. So what I would do first is take the phone, put it here, take one piece of wipe. Let me split one off first. Take one piece of wipe, take off the screen cover first. And bring out the wipe so it is wet um, but it sh should soon dry off as soon as you clean your phone So this is the wet wipe. The phone is on. And put the wet wipe one side. Now the dry wipe. After you wiped it with the wet wipe, you need to dry it off using a dry wipe to make sure it's very clean before you apply the screen cover. Okay, so it should be very clean. So now we're gonna apply the screen cover. First we peel it off, plastic, and all we have to do is place it on top.
Before pressing firmly down, please make sure that everything fits exactly where it should do. Okay, so now it's on. Give a little wipe with the cloth here to make sure that it's firmly on. And there is the phone with the glass screen protection on.